It's been, I think, a pretty solid, bar-raising, game-changing year for Hindi streaming shows. Just the sheer number of series worth discussing and celebrating this year is its own triumph. Aside from 2023 being the year that Bollywood stars well and truly embraced the series format, it's also been a delightfully diverse year of surprises. My picks of the top five shows this year feature three Netflix India titles, two documentary series and a Disney Plus Hotstar title taking the top spot as arguably the best show of the year. Who would have figured? Not to mention a truck full of special mentions. So here we go. At number five, we have Netflix's Kora. While I have at times struggled with the bleakness of Sudeep Sharma's worlds in terms of trying to find something or someone to hold on to and feel for, the formidable storytelling might of Kora is simply undeniable. Creators Sudeep Sharma, Gunjit Chopra and Diggi Sasodia and director Randeep Jha create an aching atmosphere of despair in one of the most potent crime dramas yet. The writing is thoughtful, the craft exquisite and the characters ugly and messy in a winning combination of urgent storytelling and rich subtext. Throw in a terrific show-making Suvinder Vicky, along with his right-hand officer played by a standout Barun Sopti like you've rarely seen him, and what you get is the rare prestige drama that's also bloody bingeable. Next up is once again a Netflix title, Trial by Fire, which follows the true story of Delhi's Upar cinema tragedy in 1997 and Neelam and Shekhar Krishnamurti's three-decade-long judicial fight for justice which followed. Prashant Nair and Kevin Lupercio's series is an incredibly sensitive and heart-wrenching portrait of grief and loss, which chooses to keep the victims and their humanity at the centre of its narrative refusing to dilute its subject matter into something particularly entertaining or thrilling. As Neelam Krishnamurti, Rajshree Deshpande is the beating heart and driving force of this series, supercharging the narrative through a carefully calibrated performance that balances grief and steely resolve. A masterclass in the internalised rage and pain of a mother who lets her quest for justice consume her entirely. At a time when we're assaulted by endless stories of big screen heroism, Trial by Fire is a sobering look at what courage looks like in the real world. More than chest-thumping dramatic moments, it's a back-breaking battle across decades with more losses than wins, more obstacles than progress, but still no signs of slowing down, come what may. Rounding off the Netflix titles is a docu-series, Selvamani Selvaraj's terrific The Hunt for Virapan. I didn't think it was possible for us to make a great true crime series but thankfully, I was wrong. This four-part series is an addictive, arresting, mesmerizing look at a fascinating figure with a truly insane story. We're all familiar with fragments of the Veerapan story, but here we get a more thorough, personal, cinematic, nuanced look at the dreaded figure. The story of the man, the myth, the manhunt, the media sensation and the moments in time and society that created him, all captured in four unputdownable chapters which magnificently marry breathlessly paced compelling storytelling with thought-provoking perspective. At number two, we have another non-fiction series, Amazon Prime Video's Cinema Marte Damtak. The show from creators Vasan Bala, Samira Kanwar and Niharika Kotwal examines a forgotten corner of Hindi cinema, the thriving subculture of trashy, low-budget erotic movies of the late 90s and early 2000s. Over its breezy six episodes, the show not only deep dives into the wild wild west that was the low-budget smart movie industry of the 90s, it also catches up with four unforgettably kooky, colourful yesteryear directors of that time and tells their story. Cinema Marte Damtak is a deliciously entertaining and charmingly heartfelt look at movie making. Full of heart and humour and made with much love and affection, this is the rare series that's not only smashing fun, it's also a thoughtful and deeply empathetic examination of filmmakers who feel like they weren't taken seriously and never got their due, and the struggles of making a living within the fickle world of film. At number one is Disney Plus Hotstar's School of Lies. Avinash Arun and Ishani Banerjee's show follows the case of a young boy who goes missing from a remote boarding school. We've seen investigative thrillers before, but they've rarely felt quite like this. School of Lies may be packaged like a thriller, but it unfolds like a drama. Here, massive revelations are often presented in a matter-of-fact manner. It's what makes them all the more jaw-dropping. Twists are shocking because they're not bleeding with subtext and full of deeply affecting performances, it's also the rare series that takes kids seriously and sees them as people. Spearheaded by a transformative Amir Bashir and a heartbreaking Varun Rupani, the show is equally a masterclass in gradually drip-feeding us information about these people and their secrets, delicately unpeeling their layers episode after episode, but also ensuring that we know enough to not want to look away. 
at once deeply empathetic, gripping and unnerving, the series is a triumph of screenwriting because these characters aren't born the minute you press play on the first episode and they don't end with the last scene of the final episode. School of Lies offers one of the year's most striking visuals of a chicken eating a fried egg that's been thrown on the floor. A parent literally pecking away at their own child in a story about what we inherit and what we pass on. My life is better for having watched this show. Just to round things off, a few special mentions. Series superstars Raj and DK's bodacious, bombastic and gloriously pulpy guns and gulabs gave us some truly unforgettable characters. I want the everything of Charkat Atmaram on a t-shirt. The show deserves a place on this list for that explosive season finale alone. Jubilee. While I had my issues with Vikram Aditya Motwane's tragic tapestry about the early years of the Hindi film industry, thinking back to it now, what stayed with me most is the show's rich artistry and heartbreaking sincerity. That and Siddhant Gupta's star-making breakout performance. The gloriously intoxicating vibes and electric ensemble of Homi Adajanya's Sas Bahu or Flamingo about an all-woman-run global drug empire. A scorching, scattered fever dream of a hot mess, but one that left me buzzing. Scoop. Hansal Mehta and Runmai Lagu's mature, sophisticated series about responsible journalism has never been more timely. I could also just spend an eternity listening to a show-stealing Mohamed Zishan Ayub lecture me about ethics. The refreshing thrills, well-realized characters and standout performances of Kala Pani. There are a few things this year that gave me as much joy as watching the first five minutes of Netflix's docu-series The Romantics, which celebrates the legacy of Yash Chopra and YRF. It's near impossible not to be floored by the sheer star power on show. Though The Romantics works best when it tells the story of the movies and captures a part of us, rather than when it risks becoming a hollow, self-congratulatory corporate PR exercise. And last but not least, the fiery ambitions of The Hard as a potent social drama masquerading as a thriller. That's all from me, but let me know what your favourites from the year were in the comments below and see you on the other side.